U.S. propaganda effective in fooling Filipinos to side with them despite getting minimal gains. The president of the strapbase Albert Del Rosario's Institute Dindo Manhit proudly proclaimed to the press recently about how the survey they commissioned with the Pulse Asia Research Incorporated showed how Filipinos preferred to work with the United States amid the rising tensions in the South China Sea, 80%, or 8 out of 10 Filipinos, or 4 out of 5 Filipinos reportedly want the Philippines to work with the US rather than with China where only 1 out of 10 or 10% preferred to work with them. This to me is just an illustration of how effective the US and their Filipino collaborator doggies have been able to brainwash Filipinos to worship the US using propaganda. Despite the fact that the Philippines has very little to gain from the relationship. These Filipino collaborator doggies includes first the and foremost the Philippine press, which is owned and controlled by the oligarchs who are staunchly pro-US and anti-China. Some Filipino politicians and government personnel are also unfortunately part of this group. They all work constantly to manipulate the news, cherry-pick which ones will only be shown to the Philippine public, and always with the intent of promoting the US and their interests and demonizing China. All these are being done despite the fact that the Philippines has very little to show for in its siding with the US. For example, the US itself does not even recognize the Philippines' claimed territories in the SCS and are just relying on some silly excuse of defending personnel, aircraft, ships, etc. of the Philippines there instead, all of which can be recalled if necessary to avoid any confrontation. Note that the US is quick to recognize Japan's ownership of the Senkaku Islands, but not the Philippines' ownership of claimed features in the SCS. Also the US itself refuses to get involved in the Philippines' disputes in the SCS. Up to now for example, despite being given nine military bases in the Philippines, they still cannot and will not be dragged by the Philippines to help confront China in Ayungin or Scarborough Shoal. Even back in the 1970s, when the U.S. military bases were still in Clark, Subic and other areas, the U.S. did not lift even a single finger to help when Vietnam stole Puget Island in the SCS from the Philippines, by using prostitutes to lure away our soldiers that were stationed there. The U.S. just treats the Philippines like a dumb relative of theirs that they can easily fool time and time again. They were given nine military bases under the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. And yet they still wanted us to beg before they give us well-used, second-hand F-16 fighter aircraft, which is actually just a third-tier combat aircraft within the U.S. armed forces itself. In contrast, despite the constant demonizing against them, China still managed to give, for free, two modern and brand new bridges to the administration of former President Rodrigo Duterte and in fact is giving us another one now under this administration of Bong Bong Marcos. The US and their Filipino collaborator doggies have also been sabotaging China's projects in the Philippines, to the detriment of the Filipino people. The Sangle Point International Airport project in Cavite for example is supposed to be part of China's Belt and Road Initiative. But was sabotaged, with China kicked out and the project is now already four years late and still hasn't started yet. China was also supposed to develop Fuga Island in the Ilocos region, but it too was sabotaged by the US and their doggies and up to now the island remains poor and undeveloped. These two instances clearly show that the US would rather see the Philippines suffer than be helped by China. The Philippines is really the only country in the entire Southeast Asia region willing to be fooled by the US, as I have shown many times already in my page. This is also one of the main reasons why the Philippines continues to be the Kulalat or last placer country even if only in Southeast Asia. Unless the Philippines starts thinking for itself rather than worshipping and being made a fool by the US, then it will continue to be underdeveloped and left behind in Southeast Asia. This is a sad but true fact already by now.